what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and I just wanted to show you uh, the progress that I'm making on my new aquaponic uh, grow beds. Uh, I actually cut an IBC tote in half, um, and the way I did it uh, was the same way that uh, Rob had showed on one of his videos. I'll have to look up the video and, and put it somewhere in here. Um, but it worked out pretty good. The only thing that I did differently, he cut the cage a little bit differently than I did. I basically cut off, um, cut off around the middle and then I cut, measured and got the other, the other half. I, I, I can't go into all that stuff. Um, you're, a lot of these things you guys are going to have to figure out for yourself. Uh, if you have if you have questions though, um, I'll answer them as best I can. But um, basically, I cut the grow bed in half, and uh, the grow beds that you want to get, or the IBC totes that you want to get, are going to be smooth sided and uh, smooth on all sides. The reason why is because when you have the ones that have ribs, I'm not saying that you can't use them, but um, uh, in the plastic, the ribs that are in the plastic, if you have ones that have ribs in the plastic, it's a good chance that uh, you know fish muck and stuff like that is going to get caught uh, in those grooves and then you can have an anaerobic situation um, and you basically want to avoid that at all costs because you don't want to have anaerobic you want to have aerobic so lots of oxygen going into these things so um, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, I, I'm doing is I'm actually using tongue and groove boards and the reason for that, um, a lot of people they use paint and stuff like that and I just don't think paint's a, a good option. The reason why is because I just think it peels a lot or it peels really easy. I've painted other plastics and stuff and it just doesn't work very good. Um, so, but with the tongue and groove boards, um, basically that V fits right down in there. And look up tongue and groove boards, but basically that V fits down into each one and when that does that, it blocks out the sun completely. And the reason why you want to put something around your grow beds like that is because you don't want to grow algae, you want to grow vegetables. And so uh, algae will definitely compete for nutrients in the water um, and it will basically eat most of the nutrients if you're not taking care of algae. So it's a big issue and these are going to be out in the sun constantly. So I'm gonna do a tongue and groove on these, like I've already done, and I'm gonna do it to that side too, but I'm not gonna do that today, I'm just showing you guys where I'm at, um, and then I'll take you in closer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the tongue and groove and stuff on this one, and then how I'm gonna finish up the top with a little ledge. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to that. Okay, now as you can see on these boards, um, there is a little V cut out of this right here. Okay, and then the other half of that is a notched out V uh, that will fit into this one. So, I already basically ripped all these um, to where I can fit them pretty easily, right? They go right down in there. And then um, and then there's a, a board in here, it's a one and a half by one and a half. And basically what I do, and you wanna make sure you do this is you pre-drill your holes, and I'll show you that in a second, but I just wanted to show you kinda of how these fit in there, okay? And then you can actually hammer this down a little bit and it'll stay in there pretty good. Um, but anyways, so, and then they drill into here, okay? So basically this, this allows that V thing with the other V going in there, it makes it to where sunshine can't come in through the sides. Um, and then the top is a different story, uh, but I'm going to be filling that with grow media. And when you fill these tanks with grow media, you want to make sure that your only uh, your grow media comes up uh, higher than your standpipe, and about two inches I found. Um, that way, when the standpipe is down about right here, where my shadow is, down about right there, um, your gravel should be about up there, two inches. Okay, and that'll keep it from growing algae on the top. So you're covering the uh, top so that you're not growing algae and you're also covering the sides and then the bottom sunshine doesn't shine up from the bottom unless I have a mirror under there. <laughs> so let me, uh, let me pre-drill some holes here and show you guys how to basically put this thing together. I would give you measurements for all this, um, but all, nearly all IBC totes that I've gotten, they're all, um, not the same size they're just a little different each one um, but you're looking at about 41 this way and then the long way that way 
you're looking at about 49. Um, so 41 inches and 49 inches. But that's for the wood that goes around this. This is a little smaller. So anyway, let's get some, a board in here and then I'll show you uh, this bed that's actually finished. Um, and ready to plumb, of course. Okay, so you just wanna put it into that tongue and groove and that actually helps you seat this thing. And then um, since I have a gap up here, because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do there, I'm gonna only put a couple holes in this lower actually in the in the uh, these pieces of wood here and I'm pre-drilling I'm pre-drilling because I don't want the wood to split when I put my screws in there okay pre-drilling can be a hassle but so could wood splitting <laughs> so make sure that you're not splitting the wood see in that tongue and groove it really helps hold the board in place as well um, so there you go, okay? And then what I'm gonna do with this other half is I'll show you right now. I'm basically gonna put a ledge on the inside here to kind of make a little table here. Okay, and then I'll take a, kind of the same board as the one that's right here. Take that same board and I will just butt it up against there, which is I think a one and a half by one and a half. I'm not sure. Um, but basically I'll be able to screw that up like that. And bam, I have myself a nice ledge. There you go. Okay, so in conclusion, the tongue and groove is meant to keep the sun out. And it will do a good job, I'm sure. So it actually looks really nice too, in my opinion. Um, and then I'm going to finish up on this side. I just have to put two more boards over there. And then I start on this one. And then after that, uh, under that tarp is my uh, sump tank. And see, that's the water that goes down into the sump. The pump pumps the water basically up into here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it off there and I'm gonna bring it down through the ground here. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it up through the middle. And then I'm gonna bring up some water that goes into here and goes into here. And then I'm probably gonna put the drain back there and back there and then have the drain pipe go all the way down and into the drain so let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh if you think it looks good or anything you change um obviously the stands are too big but it was all scrap that i had around here i, I know that the pieces look really new and they are i never used them so but i just didn't know how much to wait and wait to uh put on these things so the, how much weight I'm gonna put on them so anyway I overdid it but I think it looks okay so anyway God bless you guys and like always peace thank you guys so much for watching our video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates oh yeah we do have other channels now so please check them out like always God bless